Thanks for having me. It is my first time at Pay Expo, actually. I'm based in Singapore, so I haven't had a chance to come before, but I'm thrilled to be here with all these payments visionaries uh, to hear about what's going on in Europe. Uh, we're here to talk about Rapid's FinTech as a Service solution. Uh, we make a platform to make it easier for FinTechs and technology companies uh, to get into payments in a way that doesn't disrupt their core business, but still lets them expand around the world uh, in a licensed manner and access 900 different ways to collect money around the world, 500 different ways to disperse money around the world, and then a platform to let them mix and match services so they can create their own innovations on top of our platform with better ROI. A classic use case would be a gig economy player, right? Which is expanding around the world. They've got to collect money from consumers. They'd like to hold money in a wallet so they can return some cash back or some value to keep the consumer engaged. They've got to pay a driver or a delivery person. And they might also have to pay a restaurant or a store for their goods as well. So automatically they're building a complex ecosystem that requires a lot of management and has KYC implications in multiple places, has a demand for instant payment, and at the same time, they're operating in economies that are not pure credit card economies or where things are changing, right? So do they have to accept cash? Do they have to accept bank transfers? Do they have to accept local e-wallets? You know, the mind kind of explodes with the options. We reduce that pressure on the mind, make it easier with one integration, one API, one SDK, for them to get access to a huge amount of functionality very, very quickly so they can focus on their customer segment innovating a solution that works for them versus just plugging in things. We'll do the plugging for them and give them one API to work with. I mean, the biggest challenge at the end of the day is we're taking on all that complex work that our customers themselves struggle with, right? And so the way that we deal with that is that we focus not just on trying to do everything ourselves, but by building a network of networks with specialists in every market who are great at what they do, who are licensed players, some are banks, some are e-wallet providers, some are issuers, some are switches, some are gateways, but all of them know the ins and outs of their platform. So we integrate to these specialists and we provide a layer on top of it to make it easy to get access to that across the world. Uh, and obviously in some markets, things are faster, things are slower, so we might have a relatively deeper, or more direct connection. In other cases, we might have a very strong connectivity, we might have a shallower connection, but ultimately our merchant or our platform user doesn't know the difference because we provide that functionality through one interface. I think the biggest trend that we see around the world is really regulatory activism, uh, not in a negative sense, but in a positive sense, right? We have regulators that are trying to create financial inclusion, strong customer privacy, strong customer control of data, local data standards, local payment standards, reducing cost of transactions. One thing after another, you see different flavors of this around the world, but in each case they're similar but not the same. And so it creates a, a big implementation cost and a big compliance cost for everybody concerned, but the ultimate benefit to that local economy is a cheaper, better, more well-tuned system, right? So that regulatory activism is very positive, but it's also a disruptive force that forces people to react, to figure out how they can still do things efficiently and go local everywhere around the world, but without making that their core business, right? Their core business might be delivering food, might be streaming video, might be social networking, whatever it is. Nobody's core business really is payments. We help take that burden onto us so they can focus on their core, but still inject payments where they think it needs to be.